Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use React to render nested components. Um, the last challenge showed a simple way to compose two components, but there are many different ways you can compose components with React. Component composition is one of React's powerful features. When you work with React, it is important to start thinking about your user interface in terms of components, like the app example in the last challenge. You break down your UI into its basic building blocks, and those pieces become the components. This helps to separate the code responsible for the UI from the code responsible for handling your application logic. It can greatly simplify the development and maintenance of complex projects. There are two functional components defined in the core editor called types of fruits and fruits. Take the types of fruits com component, compose it or nest it within the fruits component, and then take the fruits component and nest it within the types of food component. The result should be a child component nested within a parent component, which is nested within its parent, its parent, within a parent component of its own. Okay, so we have types of fruit, which returns a this this amount. This is a just a single component. Um, we have the const uh, another component that's just specifically fruits. Let's see. I think that we want to nest maybe types of fruits in there, and then types of food. Here we have a what's this one's another uh, functional component. Oh, this is just another component that extends the the React router. Okay, and so. We want to add all of those into here. So the types of food component should return a single div element. So that's types of food. It should return this is a single div element that types of food fruit uh, types of food. Oh, they're saying types of food. So this is the type of food one, and it should return um, a single div element. So right now it's doing that. My guess is if we ran this, this would pass. So now the three things that aren't passing, the types of food component should return the fruits component. Okay, so the types of food should return the fruits component. Okay, so let's just add the fruits component into the types of food. Okay, let's run the tests. Cool, this one passes. The fruits component should return the types of fruit component. The fruits component should return the types of fruits component. Okay, cool. So let's add this into here. Okay, cool. Now we've got that in there as well. So the fruits, apples, blueberries, strawberries, and bananas. That's what we just added in. And the uh, types of food is here. Cool. And if we run the test, that should pass. So yeah, the whole idea here is there that just trying to show you how you can uh, nest things within things. Like if you think about the Facebook with the news feed, that could be a component. And then so there's another uh, component on top of that where they put where they have one that says like, um, here's the instant messages, here's you know your groups, here's your news feed. And then they, the news feed has a sep has a bunch of code in a separate file so that you can keep uh, track of it. Uh, this stuff's a little hard to understand until you start working with larger apps, but it's, it's very useful. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.